We're heading to Universal Studios Orlando to preview a brand new area for kids called DreamWorks Land. Stay tuned. Hey guys, we are here today previewing DreamWorks Land. Universal has been lacking a little bit in things to do for kids, but that is not the case anymore. It is a sweltering 95 degrees today. The heat index is above 100. Got the girls with me. Let's go check it out. Are you ready? Hi, Gabby. <laughs> is this okay right here? Hi. Oh my gosh. You are so cute, Gabby. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Gabby. You want to give Gabby a hug? Oh, so sweet. <laughs> Bye, Gabby. All right. Hi, King Julian. <laughs> Hello. Yes, yes, she's got silly buns today. Amazing. <laughs> Thanks so much, King Julian. <laughs> oh, so sweet. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> so they've got a nice little snack booth here called Swamp Snacks. We've got Shrek pretzels, Far Far a waffle, Swamp Dogs, Green and Mean, oh a donkey bar. Girls, what do you think y'all are going to get? Um, All of it? Donkey bar. Those look so good. All right, so you walk in here and up front, we've got two meet and greets. Today was King Julian and Gabby. Then up here, we've got the swamp snacks. Walking in a little more, you can see a splash pad and we've got Shrek's house. Shrek, Fiona and Donkey come out. They are not out right now, but they should be soon. And let's go see what else we can find. Girls, what else do you think we can find? All right, so here's the splash pad. Looks like there's a tree house or a playhouse. Yeah, it says, welcome to Shrek's Swamp. Oh, there's Pinocchio. Okay, so you do have to be a certain height to play by yourself. So mommy or daddy will be up there with you, okay? Let's see how tall you are. Yep, mommy and daddy will go in with you. Cool. You see how tall you are? Yeah, you got a ways to go. <laughs> we'll have to come back and see Pinocchio. Let's go see if we can meet Poppy. You want to go see if we can meet Poppy? Okay, so what are we thinking so far? What do you see, Dars? What? The troller coaster. It's so cute. I can't wait to ride it. Are y'all excited to ride it? I know. All right, looks like they've got some more snack booths over here. Oh, another playground? Oh, wow. Okay, so Trolls Treats in this little boom box. High Five Hideaway. I love this little booth. It looks like a boom box. It's so cute. It's called Trolls Treats. So this is Poppy's Playground. There's no height requirement on it, so that's nice. The little ones can just kind of run around. Hi! <laughs> Hi! You've each got your own little troll beds. Yeah. 
friend. Who are we meeting? Who are we meeting? Sky Diamond. Oh my gosh, are you so excited? <laughs> Hello! Oh, so sparkly! How are you today, Guy Diamond? Good? Yeah? Oh, so good. Can y'all dance like Guy Diamond? Yeah. Oh my gosh, so cute. Let's see. I love All right. How you posing, Guy Diamond? Okay. Y'all pose like him. Can you do it? Oh, nice. Thank you so much! <laughs> <laughs> Darcy said she she thinks this is a game over here. Ooh, this looks neat. <laughs> Did you just do that? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so fun. What? Oh, really? well, what are you doing over here? This is adorable. It's like a like a gallery where you can like touch things and make things happen on the screens. What? That was great. <laughs> <laughs> squirt on this side. I squirted the pad on that shelf. Quite fun. Nice. Squirt, squirt. <laughs> 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 this is so. What did he do? What? <laughs> 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 oh, yes. Look, look, Daisy, look what you did. Oh. Did you see that? Do it again, do it again. Spin it again, spin it again, spin this thing again. <laughs> we could just stay in here forever, couldn't we? Love this little troll fountain they have with Poppy and Branch. Super cute. Time to ride the troller coaster. We are so excited for this. It is a roller coaster for families. You can see here, it's not super big. It's pretty small, but I think it's a great size. All right, are y'all ready to do this? Yeah. Stacy's a little nervous, but you got this, right? You've been on much bigger roller coasters than this. Look, who do we have over here? Poppy. Poppy. And her sister. Oh, I see, guys. I see um, Tiny Diamond. And I love is the girls, like the twin girls with their hair that you go underneath it, you see? That's pretty cool. I love how everything is like rainbow and glittery. Super cute. You made it. <laughs> so you can't ride alone yet. You're close to it. Close. Oh, hi. <laughs> The queue is mostly outside and unshaded, so that is something to keep in mind for summer months because it is freaking hot already. I would have liked to see a little bit more shade, I think. But maybe the light won't get too long, who knows. ride the troller coaster if you have two kids under 48 inches um, so gotta have kids over 48 inches or uh, you can't ride it so that sucks all right so we are inside Kung Fu Panda area and this is the pond of perpetual wetness <laughs> are you making that happen
Stacy's just going right in. Oh, wow. You really went for it. <laughs> oh, mommy, I'm How is it? Do you like it? Yeah. So they've got this like sprayer thing that goes up and down. They've got Panda Waterworks that has the scary buckets. <laughs> These buckets always scare my kids. Um, they've got like some leaves that pour water and then an another couple of big things. Ooh, I probably should have put on my waterproof case. Guys, I think I might get wet today. It is so hot. <laughs> Okay, it looks like um, you can meet Po. I guess he's Kung Fu Panda. You can meet him over there. So pull your ride off. Are you not getting wet, Missy? Yeah. Yeah, this one is for sure. They do have some seating around here. Not much, though. A little bit of seating for parents. Not really shaded either. That's kind of like SeaWorld splash pad area. You just sit in the blazing sun. Is it awesome? Did you fall down? All right, so one thing to be aware of is this is slippery over here. So if you've got little ones, be sure they don't run. Stacy wasn't even running and she fell. My dress is a sleepy soak. Your dress is completely soaked? Worth it? Yes. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay, let's chat now that I've had a second to pull down metaphorically. It's not physically because it is so hot. Um, but I think it's a little silly that you have to be above 36 inches to ride the troller coaster and below 48 inches to go by yourself. So if you are alone with two kids under 48 inches, you can't ride it. They're not gonna let you ride it. So, family roller coaster, I don't know. I don't know about that. And it makes me feel bad for single parents that have no other choice. Like, sorry, you're just gonna have to wait for your kids to be 48 inches, I guess, you know? I don't know. So when Brett and Dagny gets here, we'll ride it, but I still think it's a little silly. I think it's a silly rule. I mean, I'm glad that they're doing it for safety reasons, but I wish that they would have made a roller coaster that everyone could have ridden regardless of height. Two, one, go. Oh, oh my God, I'm so... <laughs> You didn't even get under. She lied. You lied to me. We were supposed to do that together. The count, the, the count, the gong of resounding resonance. That's hard to say. Can y'all do it? No. <laughs> together, teamwork. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. <laughs> All right, let's go see what else there is. I love the noodles up here. I think this is awesome. Oh, yeah? Woo, that fan. <laughs> go the other way. Try to spin the other way. So the noodles are actually chimes, we've just figured out. So like when you spin it. Oh, mine doesn't work very well. Oh, there it goes. Very cool. Lots of these little noodle things all around. The girls are patiently waiting for one of these. All right. <laughs> Whoa! 
Okay, I like this, but I don't like that I have to push the kids if there's not other kids around. Okay, this is how to do it. <laughs> you just get one of the kids to do it for the other kid. Not as fast though, huh? It's not as fast. All right, so now we're able to go see Poe. This is a live interactive experience. He's babysitting his cousin, Ling Ling. We can ask him any questions. Let's go see him. Your shoes. Thank you. We have a cheese or what? They are made out of cheese? Nice. <laughs> okay, well, welcome everyone. Uh, Come on up closer, I'm not going to bite you. Can get, you can get on the circle part here that looks squishy. Because it is squishy, by the way. Uh, Go on up there, girls. The Dragon Warrior. Okay. Maybe you heard of me. And today is a very special day. Master Shifu has asked yours truly to teach all of you who are the Kung Fu. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Oh, but uh, here's the thing. Um, you see, I'm supposed to be babysitting my cousin Ling Ling, and uh, if you see Ling Ling anywhere, could you just, I don't know, shout out Ling Ling? Could you do that for me? Yeah! Yeah? Okay, so let's practice. Let's say Ling Ling shows up somewhere. What are you going to do? Ling Ling! Oh, thanks. <laughs> you guys are the best. Okay, you guys, you're totally pulling my, my tail with the Ling Ling thing. Ling Ling! Sure. My friend with the cheese shoes. Where's Linda? <laughs> Behind me? Over here? Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> there she is! <laughs> and there she goes. Okay. Wow. <laughs> she is okay. This next one's a little tricky, but I think you can handle it. It's the master crane stance. Here's what you do. Follow along. You put your arms up like wings of justice. Looking good, looking good. Then balance on one leg. And then when you kick, you say, hi -ya! Hi -ya! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ling Ling, that's my tigress. Oh, please don't break her. She's in mid condition. Okay, Ling Ling, you stay put. Do not go anywhere. Come on, give it, give it, give it. Come on, yeah. Oh, Master Tigress, are you okay? Are you tired of playing hide and seek with Ling Ling? Yeah, I know, she's driving me crazy. You can't find her anyway. <laughs> One more time. One, two, three, high up! Hold it! Ha <laughs> ha yeah! Oh, man, that's pretty. No, keep boxing, come on! And skip you! Oh, high five! Oh. You did it! Yes! So you can meet with Poe in his dojo. He comes to life and it's interactive. It's kind of like Turtle Talk with Crush over at Epcot. He interacts with the audience and teaches you how to do some kung fu. So it's pretty cute. My kids enjoyed it. Lots of space in here. It's actually really cooled off very nicely. There's lots of fans. Great way to get out of the sun. All right, where are we going next? Try the other way. So I'm not sure these things are working. I think they're supposed to like turn the clothes line that's up here, but it doesn't appear that it's functional. Okay, he's got that to spin. More splash pads. Oh, this is dangerous in here. Oh, uh, what? You just got jumped on. Oh my gosh. This is crazy back here. Oh gosh, this is wild. Okay, it's buckets. I guess these are their clothes. I don't know. I still, the noodles in the window. How many times can I say it? That's my favorite thing. Gadoosh. That's what it says on the way out. I don't know. I haven't watched Kung Fu Panda in a very long time. All right, so you shoot the clothes, I guess. 
I'm not really sure what happened to them. Oh, we're washing the clothes. Okay. Now I understand. These buckets are intense. Over here, you dry the clothes with this lovely sounding fan. <laughs> so I've got Kung Fu's biggest fan. They've got several of these fans around here. You do have to pay for them. Let's see how much it is. Seven dollars. <laughs> you want to get blasted by a fan after going in the soak zones? So this is a cute area. Very cute. Can you do it? You need help? Oh, it's hard for me to even do it. Let's see. Whoa. Oh my gosh. The thing like vibrates right here. That is crazy. The girls are really liking this little river, pretend river with the spraying rocks. Oh, that is nice and refreshing. You're definitely gonna wanna wear like waterproof shoes when you come. So this is called Mr. Ping's Noodle Caboodle. We've got the bowls in here. I guess that's where you eat out of. Okay, one second. They've got these cute little noodles that you twirl and wind chimes happen. The girls liked spinning those earlier. All right, here we go. Ooh. I do feel like it's like a lot of wide open space. Like it wasn't, um, I don't know. I feel like they could have used the space better. Still really cute back here. It's just like a lot of paths. We are leaving the Kung Fu Panda area and it says Skadoosh, which is maybe my favorite line of that movie. Kind of all I remember about the movie to be honest. I need to go back and watch it again, I guess. Poe's Kung Fu Training Camp. Super cute. Let's see. Playground? Okay. What is this thing? I don't know. <laughs> it's cute. Bye. Bye. Yeah, I don't think so. No hidden Mickey's at Universal, babe. What is this thing you're on? I think a pile Oh, okay. Oh, you got another passenger. Whoa! <laughs> She's still slippery. All right, where are y'all off to? What? We're at Universal. So just off over from the Imagination Celebration, they do have some stroller parking. This is not a big area, to be honest, once this is fully open to the public, but this is the only place I've seen to park strollers. So just keep that in mind. It's over by the Im Imagination Celebration. We could come back. Yeah, let's go back to it. I wanted to wait for sister. So they're waiting for something else to happen. Okay. And then when it turns green is when you trigger it. Perfect. So good to know. Yeah. Okay. Like Okay. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> That's adorable. 
So we've just been told, look, it's green. I think you can do something with it. Yep. Oh, oh. Look. Okay, look. Okay, see the bell? The bell's on the screen. This is green. Come here, you want to do it? Dinner time. The kitties are waiting for their dinner. Ring it, ring it. Oh, now shake the maraca, shake it. <laughs> there we go. When it turns green is when you want to do it. Look, that one's green. Oh, you're making the ball move. Ah! There's puss and boots. Now I see why. This is our favorite area. Do you know any friends over here? Yes. Yes, it's so great. Oh. <laughs> yes. oh you are so cute. <laughs> Say bye. Have a good day. That is the king. It says King Harold's Swamp Symphony. Oh, you're doing some good frog hops. All right, so we are back up in Shrek. We are at the splash pad over here. Not really much splash. Okay, there's some splash. Here they come. Whoa! <laughs> oh, is it cold? No, it's cold. <gasps> you got wet. <laughs> it feels good. So there's this. There's not much to this splash pad. Oh, oh, this is new. I, I'm not gonna lie, I just wanna like, <laughs> I'm doing it, I'm getting in. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, so they've got a lot of uh, lifeguards here testing water right now. It's actually been a lot of testing going on and there are signs around saying that this is just like preview, you know, like there's still some things being worked on, but it's been interesting to see all of the cast, or sorry, the team members here, like, testing things and making sure they're sure things are all right. One thing we've noticed is there are a lot of these bees around, which is not good. This is Shrek's house, super cute. So you can hear them talking. I see donkey. Oh, you see donkey? Oh, he's back there. So this is called Mama Luna. This is by far the girl's favorite place. Because <laughs> it is just cats. Where are you going, little bit? this cute little interactive area where you can play with lots of kitties. The trick is to wait for the circles to wait for the circles to turn green. And when they are green, you press it and it something crazy will happen. Like we just fed the cats. Oh yes. Whoa. Whoa. 
Puss in boots? Going potty? What? <laughs> Hi, thank you. <laughs> so this is the brand new show here at DreamWorks Land. It's called the Imagination Celebration. We've been told lots of characters come out during it. It happens every 45 or so minutes and it will happen all the way up until about an hour before park close. Looks like she can express laying this. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's go. We should have brought a towel. So we played Have Adventures when we were younger? It turns out Zane is actually having a hard time using his imagination now. So, I thought bringing him out here might re-spark something inside of him. Maybe we can help set his imagination free! Can you all help my friend find his imagination again?
y'all think of the show? Good. What was your favorite part? When they all came out. When they all came out. What was your favorite part? Everyone. Everyone. I liked Poppy and Brant. There's Gabby's dollhouse. Oh, look, there's Toothless. still dancing, huh? Is that boss, baby? All right, so we've got High Five Hideaway. That is the merch here in DreamWorks. Got some little Poe bags. Those are pretty cute. Oh, cute! It fits you? It's perfect for you. It says, oh, sprinkles. This is from Gabby's Dollhouse, huh? Cute. I like. It's like you can have your own cat, like, to help. Like your own cat? That's adorbs. Here's some troll stuff. Look at the cup. Yeah, that's cool. I like this swirly straw in it. Uh-huh. Shorts. Wait, swim this? top. That's actually perfect yeah. for the splash pad, right? Uh-huh. These are like little swim, swim then, shirts. That's so cute. For water play too, yep. Mommy, this is, they'll have, there's something in, there's the water tank Yeah, it's just to keep the bag puffed up. Can you put it back for me? It's cute, What's huh? The oh, the hat is bros on. Love it. Oh, and it's reversible. Cute. Let's see what else they have in here. Oh, should mommy get a poppy headband? Probably, right? They've got lots of plushes. They've got Shrek, little Shrek. Gingy, Fiona, Donkey. Oh, cute. Love it. What is that? <gasps> Lego. Gabby's dollhouse Lego. That's cool. I really think that this is probably happening. I mean, that's just too good. They've got Poppy, Ho, a couple of Shrek shirts. Shrek happens. Well, Shrek hat. Bottle and I could carry it around because it have coffee all the couches. I love that. Oh, thanks. It's from the show, I guess. Like, yeah. got some, like, a water bottle purse. Yeah. That's cool. They've got a Shrek one, too. Shrek water bottle. A crunchy. Is that a scrunchie, really? <gasps> Shrek and Fiona. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, they are hair scrunchies. Uh -huh. Cute. Look at the Poe headband. That's pretty cute too. Cooler than you. Okay, don't really get that one, but here's a cooler towel. Oh, like a cooling towel you stuffed on my foot. <laughs> Are you okay? Towel, drinks. So overall some pretty cute things. Oh, let me see. Okay, let's miss the tag back. Ugh. A door. <laughs> I think we need those. What do y'all think? Yeah, I think we need one of these. I wish they had more headbands. I'm not going to lie. But those are cute. It's a good start. Oh, wait. There's more merch on the other side. I didn't see. Oh, water shoes. That's good for the splash areas. Vibes. Water bottle. Water shoes. Vibes shirts. Water shoes. I feel like this would be mine. I feel like this would be mine. I think that would be that and there's one other thing over here we didn't see. Oh, it's just more Gabby's dollhouse. And then a Poe thing, so. Can you put this back? Po yeah, just a second. Pure awesomeness. Cute merch. Okay, so I know this is strange, but I like to look at the trash cans in Newlands. And this is pretty cute. It's Shrek. It's got Gingy on it, onions, and flowers. They fit the area. I also want to point out the foliage is really nice. I think it's very like swamp esque. So, props, kudos to Universal. Poppy dresses hi, come right up. Hi, Poppy. Hi to Poppy. Oh my gosh, we've got your biggest fan. <laughs> I know, big old group hug. Lots of hugs. Oh, yes. Uh, can y'all wave to me? Amazing. Oh, thanks, Poppy. 
All right, let's check out Troll's Treats. It's so cute. It's in the shape of a boombox. Makes me very nostalgic. So you've got your branch and poppy cones. Poppy is pink lemonade. Poppylicious pink. Soft serve, pink lemonade and soft serve with flower sprinkles, $7.49. And we've got your Rosone Berry. That is Huckleberry soft serve with green leaf sprinkles. Also $7.49. Oh, it's vegetarian. Or Poppy is. Poppy is vegetarian. You can also get assorted beverages and alcohol here. So that's something to keep in mind. A vodka seltzer. I'm all about that. So cute little treats. Let's get some. This is the Poppy Licious Pink Lemonade Ice Cream Cone. $7.49. Try some treats. This is the what was it? What the it's a brozone berry, but what it's like, what's the flavor of it? Huckleberry. Ooh. Huckleberry. It's pretty good. I actually really like that. I do not like the sprinkles on it though. I would get it without the sprinkles. What do you think? Good? Can I have it try yours? What do you think about it? Daisy, what do you think about yours? Alright, let's give this a try. This is pink lemonade, the Poppylicious. Ooh. This is also vegetarian. I, I don't know which one's the winner. They're both really good. But no sprinkles. Okay, so what's everybody's favorites? What's your favorite? You like the pink, but you got the blue. Yeah, pink, definitely. Blue. blue and you got the pink. Which one's your favorite? Here, you wanna try the blue one? Both. Both? <laughs> <laughs> I like the blue, but I mean, I like them both, which is surprising, but, but without the sprinkles, for sure. What? What? Who cast the spell? Fairy Godmother. Do it again. Alright, so let's check out the play area that you need an adult present. My husband and other daughter have fun. Where's Dagny? Dagny? Okay, well, she left us. So it looks like there's several slides. One, two, three, four. That's how many I count. They've got some areas to run around. It's kind of like a tinier Camp Jurassic. Dagny, are you all right? <laughs> you getting stuck? Hi. Hi guys. How is it up there? Anything cool to see? They also do have a handicap ramp here, which is nice. There are, appears to be some. Are you doing that, Dagny? <laughs> oh, gross. Where is this noise coming from? Oh, okay, it's like, it's an outhouse up there. Now I get it. So it's not very big, but it's cute. I wish it were just a little bigger. Did you finally make it? That was harder than expected, eh? What? Where is the sound coming Go from? Hi! Yes! 
gosh. <laughs> Are you okay? That was crazy. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> what is taking so long? It doesn't slide very well, huh? It does to me. How, when does when do the poot noises happen? Right when you go off the Like, do you make it do it? So overall, I mean, I'm glad there's another little play area, but I'm not really sure who it's made for because it's too tall to climb up even for my tallest, who's in fourth grade. And the slides aren't very big. I don't know. It's just, it's kind of a strange playground. I'm not going to lie. Probably the only time we'll ever see this sign. <laughs> ever. All right, let's try this again. Now that we've got some other 48 inchers with us. Oh, there is a weight actually. I know there was there was not a line when we came last time. Maybe more people came. Yeah. I like really, I said, oh what? I really like this little culture because it's a caterpillar and we got to bring all the caterpillars. I know, you love caterpillars. Are we ready to ride the troller coaster? We tried to catch Donkey, but his line closed almost as quickly as it opened, so be sure you keep your eyes peeled and ask a team member when he's going to be available. We are going back to Poe's Kung Fu training camp to show Dagny Brett. I don't know which area I like the best yet. This may be the, the winner though. Dad and big sister here. Okay, now Dad can push you again. So overall, I'm always going to welcome any kid-friendly additions to Universal because we have young kids and, you know, there is plenty to do with kids at Universal, but not a whole lot. So I welcome it for that, but I do think that there are some things, like the troller coaster is very, very, very short, and the fact that you've got to have an adult to ride with the kids. Kind of annoying since it's supposed to be a kid roller coaster. Um, the show, I think there's some kinks with the show. It's really cute, but like the second time we watched it, they didn't have the confetti come down. I love the character meet and greets. That's probably my favorite part about this land. The snacks are really cute and good. Um, 
well, I say that we're about to go try the swamp snacks right now, but we really love the trolls treats right here. And I just think that's so cute. Overall, the theming is really adorable. I think they did a really good job with it. However, I do feel like it's a lot of wide open spaces. And I was hoping more for like a giant playground, kind of like Camp Jurassic. We definitely did not get that though. We got Shrek Swamp, which has like four slides. And um, that's it, you know? I mean, there's some interactive areas. The cat area is super cute. Mama Luna's, I think is what it's called. The frogs are cute, but I don't know. I was just hoping for a little more, I think. But we will definitely be back over here all summer. So like I said, always open and welcome to more kid-friendly events at Universal. Yeah, like we just walked up here and a kid walked up here by himself and they were like, do you have an adult with you? So you have to be right by your kid at all times. Let's try Swamp Snacks. Let's see what they got here. They've got a Shrexel, Far Far Waffle, Swamp Dog, Green and Mean, Frozen Ogre, Chonky, Chonky Donkey, Chocolate Ice Pop, and Mud Puddle Pudding. This looks delicious. Let's see, they've also got Powerade, Monster. They've got a Pilsner and Miller Lite. They actually have a lot of alcohol here, so good to know. This is the Shrek Soul. It's really hot and fresh right now, so I'm pretty excited to try this. It comes with green cheese. This is the frozen ochre. Looks good. And the Chonky Donkey, the chocolate ice pop. Excited to try all of these. All right, what are we thinking? Uh, what flavor is the Shrek? Sour apple. Sour apple? And what is the, is that just, it's, it's chocolate ice. Okay, so there's no ice cream in it. All right, let's try the Shrexel. I haven't tried that It looks amazing. It's really fresh. Actually, it was like really hot. One of his ears is burned. It comes with this green cheese. Very Shrek-like. That's good. You want to try a bite? No. Wow. Let's see these other here. I think I'm going to have to give this pretzel a 9 out of 10. That's really good. All right, that's a wrap for DreamWorks Land. What did y'all think about it? I loved it. You loved Amazing. it? Amazing. What did you, what was your favorite part? Everything. Okay, but pick one favorite. <laughs> Splash pad, troller coaster, cats, poppy, show. Poppy. Meeting um, poppy. Um, um, I can't pick a favorite. Just, you just love it all, huh? Yes, it's my, all my favorite. It's a great addition to Universal. We're really excited. We'll be here a lot this summer. Thanks for watching. Be sure you subscribe. Hit those notification buttons so you know when we post our next video magical guys let us know in the comments which area your favorite was and if you plan on visiting dreamworks land anytime soon again thanks for watching and stay magical guys